Well, what do we have here? Honestly, I tried to record and put the games from my reflection collection and here he comes with a new one. And well, I'm playing it blind, I must say. It's just something about Twilight and you need to run and follow. Well, let's just jump into it. Oh, I can jump. Let's see. Oh, what the hell? Oh, <laughs> that's pretty much pathetic. I can't jump, but I fire lasers. And apparently, I can destroy any obstacles that's in my way. Do I even need to comment? The hell, Chrysalis? Why does she have to ruin my day? There was Pinky with balloons, but she liked. Let's just stick to the old one. Oh. Let's just stick to the usual. I don't know, trade off your ability to jump by the ability to destroy obstacles. What the hell this... Oh. I think there's something wrong with this hitbox. Because I'm just concentrating on, on what's on the ground. And that would be Twilight Skateboard, which, twi which is Twilight Leash, of course. Yes. Well, to tell the truth, Foot is Nightmare Moon. Sh just okay. Well, to tell the truth, Foot is like makes those large amount of games which it highly replayable and. I think you could call them iPhone games or just casual games because, well, they're pretty short and to the point, and I suck at this game, I must say. Is there anything else in Nightmare Moon and Chrysalis that is out there? I don't know, I don't even know if it has the ending or something. What the hell is this floating? piece of wood. My God, this is so much. Oh, of course I die. I don't know, let's go 500 meters and then, you know, once I hit 500, I'm going to be satisfied with myself. So, There seems to be some kind of food that just floats there. I don't know if I ever encounter it once again and that was pathetic. Well, it has this weird angle, so... You can't precisely tell where, whether you're gonna hit an obstacle or completely avoid it. I don't know if it's a challenge or a negative thing to say about this game, but... That is how it is. There was a pink, some pinky. I see pinky. Yay! Oh, she is cut obscured by mountains. You know, I'm pretty much inclined to keep going to see like what kind of random stuff would ha happen to me. Um, maybe I'm doing it wrong. You know, it's pretty. B yeah, I hit this tree for some reason. No, it would be a really cool game if it wasn't for this hitbox. 
because I'm never sure if I'm going to hit an obstacle or avoid it entirely. going to rewatch this video and see how much I fail and here am I trying to find like f 500 meters but that's a challenge I am going to stick to this just makes a video an hour long experience yeah that kind of wood I don't know it's some kind of log that seems to be floating Or maybe I'm not, I'm not seeing it right. I would need to rewatch this and pause the video. What am I going to stick here? Ha, huh, Chrysalis. You thought to capture me with your magics. But I am beyond that. Oh, Celestia. Yeah, this log is just floating there. They don't think I can even hit it. What? Oh. That was bad, but I hit 400 with this. Yeah, if you move around, you're going to knock some obstacles out, so just... Stand on mostly stationary and move out of the way if you need to. Oh, there was a diamond dog in the snow. I wonder what happened if you hit him. Or maybe just your standard boom. And there's Pinkie Pie. I think I saw Celestia once. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Nightmare Moon, you are... You are an annoyance. I don't know. I didn't even see how much I ran, but it wasn't 500, I'm sure. Wait. Yeah, I'm not that good at those kind of games. Oh my god. What? That log just obscured the rock. I saw it. Oh. Don't hit anything. Yeah, I get through Nightmare Moon yet. This kind of like log that just floats there. I don't know what it is. Where is it? That was pathetic. the hell? Oh. You know, I'm trying to forget Twilight and watch my board fly by, but it just doesn't work for me for some reason. Well, it's always a surprise when I hit something. Diamond Dog once again. What the? I think jumping should have some invincibility frames in it. Just because. But you know, it's pretty much a new game and what Fuzzy does is he... You know, releases some kind of fer version of 1.0 and then tweaks the hell out of them. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I would come back to this one when it's... You know when it's more. Oh my god, Chris Ellis. Why did you. Why does every one of those villains trying to ruin my day? You know, I'm just skating there. There's Pinky. Once again. Oh, oh my god, Nightmare Moon. Y you're. You know, every time she shows up, I. I can't do it. Oh no, 400 was my, like, absolute record. And 
that's because I just stick here and jump occasionally. Once again, this, this is the weirdest lock I've seen yet. I don't even know if it's an obstacle because. Oh, it is. How pathetic. Yeah, the jumping seems to be fixed, but you can pretty much maneuver her all around the screen while they do it. I get knocked off once again. What? I mean, shouldn't I? Maybe I'm looking at the wrong section of the screen. So that those obstacles that just come flying out of nowhere for me. I have no idea. Once I What the How did they This is pathetic. This is ultimately pathetic. I mean, I'm pretty sure I had the way to avoid this rock and Yeah, the hitboxes just weird me out. Oh my god, I get through Nightmare Moon. No, don't, don't jump at this log. It will knock you out instantly. Oh! Rainbow Dash! Is that you? 430. If only I was good at this game, maybe I could show off all those weird secrets that come out. I'm pretty sure you get them along the way, you know. If you hit, like, some kind of mileage. Well, except those crystals in my moon. They uh, seems to be just random. And I hit the rock. Because I'm stupid like that. Should like go more forwards with this? So I could have some leeway. But why should I? I don't know. I cannot develop any kind of strategy. Right on the spot because this is this ju this is just random, you know, placement of obstacles with weird hitboxes. Still a good game since I'm playing like, like non-stop right now. I die once and more. Okay, I'm not hitting 500. I'm just not hitting 500 here. I'll never do it and... You know, she looks more like a pony while jumping, but her other hoof just floats in midair. Yeah, that's again what's weird, if she would just stand on all her four hooves on the skateboard, like a pony does. But well, it wouldn't look as cool as it does now. Just get there, and stay there. This is insane. I'm pretty sure there are people who could get 1000 on this. It 
maybe be turned dif distance into thousands. Because just look at the rainbow weights are just waiting is magic to see more efficiently. Yeah. I, I think it moves more like waiting is magic, you know, one wrong move and you're dead. But before that you can just keep going and going and going. Well, in Waiting as Magic, one of her moves was entirely your fault because you missed end. But here... There's just this random obstacle that... Maybe if it had less weird hitbox. How much time do I have? Well, not an hour worth of footage. And I get myself locked out of controls by looking at the timer. What a twist. What a twist indeed. Come on, just go for it. Just hit 500 so I could... No, you won't hit 500. This game is too smart for me to hit 500. Okay, 400. If I hit 400 even once, then I am done with this. Because I've... 400 is at least possible for me, I did it multiple times. I think the m most valid footage I've placed is just standing in this spot and... Could I like... No, I can't. You know, maybe do something to like show off what actually hits those rocks. Because this game has just this kind of perspective to it, I'd say. Uh. Oh, I know the slugs are just to prevent you from jumping around the place. Which is smart, I must say. <laughs> But then again, this doesn't leave much of an exploit to have in this game. Why do I jump? You know, now that I say that, if I hit 400, I'm not even gonna do that. Because this is just how the world works. The Murphy Laws in action. Here and only here. Oh, come on. And I even saw Rainbow Dash second time. So I think this those encounters are random. And you're supposed to avoid obstacles more than just jump around. Like a crazy lunatic. Okay. Nightmare Moon, you confuse me. With your... Stuff. You know, I'm just imagining like, the scenario. You're having a good day and then there's a... The endgame villain just shows up and Hey, I'm gonna spoil you, I'm gonna take your ice cream and just cover you in snow At least somehow 
Doomsday All World. You know, maybe in some cartoon universes where you know hero always wins, the villain would stoop down to this. You know, if I can have the world, at least I'm going to make a bad day for the protagonist. But well, Ponis didn't have that. Of course, I'm not. I'm not hitting 400 ever again. No, 300 is too pathetic at, of a distance. I don't think this, it gets harder. Maybe it does, but I don't see it. Oh, I'm running right into a boulder there, and somehow survive. Yeah, 400. Ah. Uh, that's my best time. I'm not doing any better now, I'm so I'm going to end with this. Well, one last time.